Welcome back to the Ski Cup 2021. Uh, we're here for our second semifinal match against Johannes Klebo and Christopher Jacobson. Uh, we've got two Scandinavian athletes today representing the Nordic side and the Alpine side of things. So excited to uh, watch these guys challenge each other in the burpees. Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, the Ski Cup is a uh, series of head-to-head -head challenges between Fisher athletes from all around the world. Um, they're going head to head, challenging each other in a bracket style competition. Uh, Johannes and Christopher moved on from their first round battles, and here they are in the semifinals to compete. Um, Johannes, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm fine. It's really nice to be back again, and uh, hopefully, it can be a good day today as well. So, yeah, really looking forward for the competition. You said you had some hot weather there in Sweden. Yeah, it's it's really warm here, so it's it's really nice to finally have some good weather here in Scandinavia as well. Yeah, it makes you uh, wish for ski season to come a little bit sooner, huh? Yeah, sure. There you go, Christopher, and you're uh, you're nearby as well, right? You're up in uh, vacation in Sweden, right? Yeah, I'm on vacation here in Sweden, and uh, it uh, had a tough challenge yesterday, and I'm, I think I'm looking at uh, Ivar Tucker today against Johannes, and uh, nice to have some Scandinavian fight here. Awesome. Um, ask you guys a few questions before we get started here. Um, out of all the workouts that you do for your off-season training, Johannes, what's your favorite way to stay in shape? My favorite one is probably running in the in the mug here in here in Trondheim. It's it's really nice and it's really tough. And uh, the long training trips around three hours running is uh, for me a perfect way of staying in good shape. Awesome. And I'll ask the same question to you, Christopher. What's your favorite way to stay in shape in the off season? Yeah, I also like running a lot. I mean, uh, we, we need everything, so I'm not running so much as I would like to, but uh, running is one, one of my favorites. Um, awesome. And what, you know, after you do all this training in the summer, what do you guys do to relax and kind of cut loose um, during the off season? Start with you, uh, Christopher. Yeah, I do a lot of different things, but I mean, as I told you in the last one, it's a lot of golfing and just, I love to relax and just taking these long rounds and just relaxing on the nice grass and I like the environment around there. So yeah, I use a lot of golfing to relax. Awesome. Yeah, great way to cut loose. And uh, how about you, Claybo? What's your uh, favorite way to cut loose in the summer? Hey, it's pretty boring to say the same thing, but uh, we started with golfing last year and it's really been been something that I really like so we're trying to do it as often as we can but um, that is something I really enjoy doing and it feels really relaxing just going this um, this golf round and just uh, be with friends and everything it's that is an amazing way of uh, cutting loose awesome well our next battle will have to be on the golf course <laughs> I hope so um, great. Well, today we're going to be doing the burpees exercise. I think this is new for the both of you. Um, do you guys use burpees in your training at all? I, I have done some of the burpees, like in CrossFit workouts and stuff like that. And I put in some burpees along with other exercises, but yeah, I've done it. Yeah, the same for me. And it's not my favorite exercise, actually. I think it's really, really tough and it's heavy. So for sure, it's a good training, but doing it in a competition is uh, is a new thing. So we'll try our best and see how it goes. All right, guys. Well, let's get into position. I'll wish you both luck. Same format as last time, a 30-second repetition battle. Start on my whistle, end on my whistle, and let's see how you do. Clock here. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> This looks extremely even between the two of them. This is maybe the closest battle we've had yet. It's almost like they're doing it synchronized. This is great. Almost through here. Five seconds. Three, two, one. That was incredible. You guys were literally doing them at the exact same pace. So <laughs> I'm excited to see who won here. Give the judges a second to count in the background. 
Wow. All right. Just as I imagined, super close. Um, Christopher, you snuck by with just one more than Klebo. You got 18, Klebo 17. So congratulations, Christopher. Congrats, man. Thank you. Good fight. That was nice. Good competition. It was really tough. I'll let you guys catch your breath here for a second, but uh, that was amazing to watch. It, it literally was like you were jumping at the exact same time. So you, you snuck that last one in there at the last second, Christopher. So nice work making that final push. Uh, thank you. Um, great. Well, Claybo, sorry to see you go. Um, for those who want to keep up with your summer training, where can people uh, find you online? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram and uh, also on YouTube where I'm going to make a few videos uh, of the summer training and everything. So they can follow me there if they want. Awesome. And Christopher, congratulations. You're going to be moving on to the final battle. How do you feel about that? I feel really good. I mean, it's been two tough challenges against... I think I'm a little bit lucky. It's a little bit shorter because I think... Uh, then I, I have the capa capacity to fight for 30 seconds, but against a cross-country skier, if it was two minutes, it would have been tough. Well, for the me. final challenge is going to be best two out of three exercises. So you'll be doing three 30-second battles, maybe two if you win. But uh, yeah, we'll see how you do. I'm excited to watch you in the finals. Good. Thank you. Awesome. Well, Johannes, thank you very much. Chris Sumfer, we'll see you next time. And uh, thanks for everyone for tuning in. Thank you.